hello, my name is Kia Terry and I am from Alexandria, Virginia. I was born and raised there. I was a teenage mother about 16, so I decided to drop out of high school to take care of my children, well, my one child. And then um, after that, life got kind of challenging. I had to stay home and make sure I take care of the kids. So I just knew that dropping out of high school wasn't the right idea. I had to make a decision to go back. So I tried to go back for my GED, which was too difficult. Um, having to take tests over and over and having ADHD just didn't work out for me. So I knew that I had to go back from elementary, I say, to 12th grade to really get and retain what I needed. So finally, I took the choice to go back to um, Goodwill XL Center. And I started from maybe elementary from to 12th grade. I had to take the courses. So finally, I went through fifth grade and I went through sixth grade. And I went through seventh grade. But when I got to like the eighth grade of um, doing the high school process, I got diagnosed with breast cancer. So I wouldn't let it stop me though. I kept going every chemo treatment I had. I still make sure I was online. I still make sure I push ambition to make sure that things went well for me to continue. So I didn't let cancer stop me. I went through radiation and um, chemotherapy and continued to um, just push and push and push. So finally, after I got to that, I had got an opportunity to go over to um, Together We Bake and once I got to Together We Bake, they gave me this lovely opportunity to go into a place called Suited for Exchange. So once I got here, I just felt like the doors were open. I felt so proud to be here and um, I got met at the door with nice staff and they actually helped me pick out outfits to um, go to work. So now that I have these outfits, I'm putting all the pieces back together. I've gotten my high school diploma. I just got a job and now I can wear these lovely nice clothes to work. And my dream goal is to get a government job and also go back to college. Oh, Miss Deidre is awesome. She calls me, she checks up on me, she texts me, she makes sure that everything's in the right track. We sat and we do one-on-one um, -on -one talking about um, interview tips and what it would be like if I wasn't sitting in front of an interview person to make sure I smile, hold my shoulders back, and know what you're talking about. So she tells me stuff like, we work on um, what to say before an interview, like what are your short-term goals, what are your long-term goals, and what do you plan on doing once you become a part of the team. But she's so great because being as though she's already been in the government human resource field, it makes me feel as though I have a first step into interviewing. So she is so good with me. I enjoy her when she calls and she's so awesome. She's like another auntie. And I really do rely on her because it just feels as though, feels to me that when I go for an interview, I'll know what I'm saying, I'll know what I'm talking about and I won't have that nervousness. So I love her. She's such a great coach. She is awesome. I mean, even when I get my job, I'm so excited to tell her how she helped me get that job. Yes, and also suited for exchange. My name is Deidre. I retired from the federal government with over 35 years of human resources experience. I came to Suited for Change when I volunteered one Saturday afternoon over a year ago. That's where I met Liz and she told me all about Suited for Change's mission and I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. I am a volunteer, I'm a new member of the board of directors, and I am a professional development coach at Suda for Change. I am here because of my commitment to volunteering and giving back to the community of women in need. I serve as one of the professional coaches where I can utilize my passion for helping women gain confidence. As part of Suited for Change's professional development program, I customize each coaching session to the individual in order to increase their self-confidence, highlight their personal strengths, and prepare them for the upcoming interview. I offer in-person as well as virtual coaching sessions. Kia was one client that I coach virtually during the pandemic. Kia is an amazing person who is in the process of transitioning in her career. She wants to receive all that Suited for Change has to offer. As she went through the professional development program with me, I quickly realized that Kia was building confidence in herself because she set great goals for herself. 
And by coaching Kia, I have been truly impacted by our encounter. I hope that all of our clients have suited for change or leave suited for change with the ability and the confidence to conquer any interview. And I know that being a part of Suited for Change is my destiny.